Shmigadoon. I'm not going to sing throughout this. You know, there was a brief second recording this. I was like, I should just do this whole review as a musical number. But that requires time and dedication. Two things I can't give you for this video. So, Shmigadoon, a show that came out on Apple. It is six episodes long, and it's so good. It, I, It's really good. Like, this is exactly my cup of tea. A, lot, a while back, there was a show on television called Gallivant, where it was just like, here's the medieval times, and it's a musical, and it's fun. This show reminds me of that, and that's something I adored. So the premise for Schmigadoon is this couple played by Cecily Strong, Keegan-Michael Key. They are kind of like having a lover's quarrel. They're not really sure if their relationship could continue. They go on a hike one day. They wind up in this weird town called Schmigadoon. They are trapped there. It is a musical. They are trapped in a musical. And they can't get out till they find true love. That's the premise of the show. Every second of this is fun. Like, it, it just, it just works. And you have to be willing to accept the world it's building. Like, if you are someone who doesn't like musicals or doesn't like these farces or just simplistic storytelling, you're probably not going to like it. But you have to get into the concept. And even the characters are like, oh, this feels really easy. This feels kind of lazy at times. Because that's a musical, and if you can't get on board with that, this show's not going to be for you. But if you are someone who adores musicals the way I do, this is a really good show. First off, the musical numbers are really good. Like, they work well, they are funny when they need to be funny, they are dramatic when they need to be dramatic, and they work perfectly to push the story forward. Like, each moment that it breaks into song, it actually makes sense to me. It's not just like some random song because we have to fill it here. It's like, no, we built it up. So this is the natural progression. I think that works really well. It sounds cool. It looks cool. The, the production on this show, it looks amazing. It is perfectly encapsulated that cheap aesthetic. And what I mean by that is like the backgrounds are just like clearly fake and the sky is too blue. Everything just looks like it's on a stage. And that's what it's going for. But when you get into the town, it's like the bigger sets. Everything looks beautiful and still prestigious, but enough where you're just like, oh, this feels like a Broadway play. And that's what I like to see about this. I think it does a great job of doing that. Cecily Strong, a woman who I've adored for a long time. I'm glad she's getting a role like this because I want to see more from her. This is a great star for her. She's one of the main characters that actually does sing. We don't see Keegan-Michael Key singing that often. But it works. I think she does a great job in this. She is really fun. She's kind of like the heart of the show. Because she's more accepting of the situation. And she calls out the crap that's going on. Like, oh, you're the tough guy. Oh, you're the rich doctor. Oh, you're the Nazi. <laughs> I love that stuff. King and Michael Key, I think out of... If there was a weakness to the show, it might be his performance. Just because it's just so easy. And it doesn't seem like he or the character he is portraying care too much about the situation they're in and that's fine you need that force that's just like this sucks i don't want to be here so he's trying to find the quick way out it works a lot for the story all the other side characters are perfect alan cummings makes this work he he is doing a lot of heavy lifting here and when he does his big moments you adore it and you love it same with fred armison another guy who just shows up and everything he makes it work Kristen chenoweth what can I say about her? She is a staple of these types of stories and this type of television, and she is just perfect as, like, the, you know, the woman who's like, we can't have these new city ideas coming into our town and ruining everything. These unmarried people of color coming in and just ruining everything. Our simple way of life. She, she nails it. She knows what she's doing here. She nails it. Jane Grakowski's in this for a little bit, and I just adore that woman. She's, she's the best in everything. And when she shows up, I'm like, thank you. I love you. Thanks for coming out. Oh, this works. Schmigadoon just has the right energy for a project like this. If you're going for that simplistic style of an old school musical, and it definitely goes for like the old school musical because it the t opening titles like reveal everything. Like they don't have like the end credits, but they, they do kind of, but like in classic movie fashion, I think up until like the new age in like the 60s or 70s, we'd have our credits at the beginning of the movie. At the beginning of every episode of this show, they do the same thing. Martin Short's listed as almost in every episode, but he's not really in every episode. He's still in there a bit and he's pretty funny. It's just weird to see that he's still listed as like a top build character in here. This show works on so many levels. 
and it is just perfectly encapsulating the musical comedy styling, which is something I know not a lot of people love. It's a certain genre of people that like it, but if you can get behind that and you just envision yourself as the characters, how do you find love? How do you find your way through this world? Will you accept it? Will you hate it? It works well. The jokes land, for the most part, I won't say they are the best, but sometimes you just want the simple laugh, you want the cheap laugh, and it works for that because that's the genre it's playing with. It's not breaking the mold, it's making fun of the mold, and it's looking at it through this lens of like, this is really annoying, why are we a part of this? And that is, that's for people. It's a stylized choice, I know that, but I think it works really well, and this show just gets the big laughs every time it needs to. I really like what it's doing and what it's presenting here. It's really fun. Smiga Dune works really well for me. The songs work, the characters work, everything just hits the beats that it needs to. It's not going to blow your mind, but it's going to make you smile, and if you can get into this style of storytelling, it's a compelling story that is unique to stuff we've seen before. And it just goes into my theory that Apple TV is just the best in the business. They are the best when it comes to releasing these types of shows. They just know their target audience, their demographic, and they're hitting these right notes really well. If I have one major complaint about Smiga Dune, it's that it's too short. Six episodes? I would watch 10 episodes, 12 episodes of this. I hope it gets renewed. I hope we see another season of this show because it's entertaining, it is engaging, and it is a very fun thing. So I'm super happy for Cicely Strong to actually get a chance to break out and do something bigger like this. Keegan-Michael Key, again, he's doing great. The show works, the costumes work. Everything about Shmiga Dune is very engaging and fun, and I recommend giving it a shot. It, it might not be your cup of tea, and I get that. It's not for everybody, but if it is for you, you're going to love it. And if you're hesitant to give it a watch, it might surprise you in ways you're not expecting. Some of the song choices are great. And before I go, I forgot to mention that Dove Cameron is in this. So if you young people, you know, you want someone else to like get you interested, there's somebody you might know, a young, a young actress named Dove Cameron. People like her, and her character is just perfectly cast. <laughs> she, she, she plays it well. <laughs> she plays it a little too well that it's almost concerning that she's doing it. But it's awesome. It's a great show. Give it a watch. It, it will surprise you. I can guarantee... If, if anything, Shmiga Dune will make you laugh, and it's worth that. If you like musicals like I do, check it out. It's really fun. So, Shmiga Dune, season number one. I am going to give a nine. Jazz hands. I don't know why I did jazz hands. You're not seeing this. Out of ten. Nine out of ten, if I wasn't clear. So, thank you guys for watching this review. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. As always, you can check me out on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and I will catch you in the next one. Have fun, stay safe, good luck.